hi everybody. Um, my name is Kyle, and we live in a crazy world right now. <laughs> um, you know, as if we didn't really have enough to deal with already, right? Um, and then on July 3rd, something that we didn't think we were going to have to worry about just abruptly came to an end, and I mean, I think everybody has a lot of questions, and I don't have the answer to those questions. Don't think that this is what this video is about. Um, more or less, um, we're definitely going through some tough times, and a lot of it's mental now. And I, for one, at least can say that I haven't been in the greatest spot mentally, especially with this happening and just abruptly coming to an end. And... Um, I definitely have learned a lot about myself over just the course of the last few months, uh, just kind of being forced to come up with better ways to solve my problems and um, the best solution that I've come up with now is just talking about those issues and that's what I'm trying to do here. I have some things that I've just wanted to let out and you know see if anybody else feels me and I more or less want to know you know what everybody else does when they kind of feel like the world is spinning a little slower or you know when just everything isn't great anymore you know um, for me um, a lot of my stuff um, I could kind of just find peace in knowing that better things were always coming um, giving yourself something to look forward to and knowing that you know, every low will bring a high, but also knowing that, you know, life is all about balance. So, you know, there's going to be your highs and your lows and your highs and your lows. You know, life's a roller coaster and you just got to stay along for the ride. But, you know, um, you know, one of my biggest things to look forward to was always bass nectar. And to some people that might be kind of weird or pathetic or it's just music, right? But, you know, when you go and you see all of the other people there that are there for the same thing, you know. I mean, all of those people that were in their car for 14 hours to go to a two-day event or to go to a festival, and or all of those festivals that you would go to that you would never be seen dead at, but Bass Nectar's on the lineup, so you know you want to go. Or, you know, the, the list doesn't stop. You know, the reasons as to why you go and have been doing these things for years. You know, I've... I was doing this for a long time. I know people that were doing this for way longer than me, and I know people that were doing this for way shorter than me, but that doesn't make you any more or less of a fan. And, you know, when you when you have this much, like, devotion or something for, I mean, a team, but for a person, you know, um, you kind of give a part of yourself to that person. And, you know, when you're in that room and that music is playing, and you, you can feel that there's a lot of people around you that are also like giving a piece of themselves. And, you know, January or July 3rd, it's like that piece that you gave away just all of a sudden is gone. And it's not the same anymore. And it sucks, man. It sucks a lot. And the point is um, all of these like very intense fans oh, I'm sorry all of these like diehards all of these people that put so much into it um, we're all just kind of left standing here you know um, he gave us a, a very half-assed apology but not really um, he apologized to the victims in in particular that he hurt and that's a good start and shout out to those people i don't know you but i feel for you because you were taken advantage of and to a point you know we're kind of the ones who gave him that power in the first place and we were used you know, we were taken advantage of and we were all played. Um, 
I, I just think it's not too much to ask for like a real apology. You know what I mean? I mean, the, the people that he directly hurt, definitely he needs to say something better. But, you know, how many fans does he really have? You know, he can do anything. He can play anywhere. And, you know, within seconds, those tickets are sold out. There's people trying to buy those tickets for way over what people bought them for. He drops merch. People buy it. He releases any sort of music. People listen to it. People love it. You know, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of some of his, like, latest music. Doesn't mean that I don't have the albums. You know, I still supported it. And I'm not the only one hundreds thousands people supported him through everything because people loved him and he was a, a beacon of you know positivity uh, like he did a lot of great things and you know i mean even like during his sets you know he would he would cut he'd go on the mic he would tell everybody you know love each other help the people around you make friends and support help one another pick people up when they're down and you know now he's not doing that anymore but that doesn't make what he says not true but you would just hope that preacher almost like that would it would at least live by the codes that they want everybody else to follow because they know that that's the right thing but it just sucks when such a great thing has to be ruined by one person. I mean, you have people who are almost afraid to wear bass drops now because it's associated with this one person making horrible decisions and now those decisions are reflected upon everybody and that's not fair. You know, we were under these impressions that this man could do no wrong and you know, maybe we looked past a lot of things or we ignored some of the stories that we heard over the years. You know, when you're around for 10 years, you hear stories, you know, you hear some of the same things and you just kind of hope that they're not true. But at the same time, you have to be real and understand that it's all out now, right? There's no lying to yourselves anymore. And especially with his just kind of drop off the face of the earth. I mean, if he was innocent, I don't think he would have dropped off the face of the earth like this. I think he would have fought for what was right or what he believed in. And it looks now like he's pretty defeated and he's running for the hills. But he left all these people standing here. And I think we all deserve some sort of an apology or, you know, at least some sort of explanation or reasoning. And, you know, I understand that something like that isn't easy to just you know, up and spread out, but for all of the devotion that we gave him over the years, I think we deserve at least this one thing. <sighs> I don't know. If anything, if you guys made it this far, um, <laughs> let me know what you guys think. I really do want to know what you guys do in these times, because I know I'm not the only person feeling like shit. Um, you know, like I said, times were already shitty, and then this is just you know, pouring it on top, but we're still a family, and he can't take that away from us, so um, I want to say thank you to you guys, because I always look forward to you, but yeah, see you guys later.